Amen. I was looking uh, at the news, and there was some excerpt play. Oprah mm. stood up and was telling the people, I'm a Christian woman. Oh. And she said, I'm not trying to compel you to be a Christian. She said, but if you want to be one, I can tell you how. I, 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 I am not talking about religion. I, I am a Christian. That is my faith. I'm not asking you to be a Christian. If you want to be one, I can show you how. <laughs> That's a lie. No, you can't. <laughs> That's right. You haven't repented of your I sins? I haven't repented. Not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? That's right. Don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues? That's right. And there's a wealthy fornicator? Mm. Amen. You got your statement? That's right. Living on your backyard? Yeah. At the ring of a bell, here he comes? That's, that's right. not a Christian, that's a sinner. That's a sinner. Yeah, hear the old troublemaker now. Enter ye in at the you straight You God day. don't care nothing about your celebrity status. No. To God, you are nothing but dust. That's it. Greetings. So who is Oprah Winfrey? Who's celebrating? Oprah Winfrey is a talk show host, media executive, actress, and billionaire philanthropist. She's best known for being the host of her own widely popular program, The Oprah Winfrey Show, which aired for 25 seasons from 1986 to 2011. In 2011, Winfrey launched her own TV network, The Oprah Winfrey Network, called OWN. Oprah Winfrey became the first black female billionaire in the United States in 2003. Hey, I saw an excerpt where Oprah went to Joel Austin Large Mega Club. <laughs> That's what it is, a club. And he got up and said, we have uh, Miss Oprah Wingfield here, always so delayed. She jumped up and waved at everybody. Oh! Hey, Oprah, glad to have you. All right, awesome to have you. We love you, we pray for you. My Lord, my Lord. You in the house, so what? So what? That's the way I feel about it. You in the house, so what? So what? No love loss. <laughs> That's right. No compromise. That's right. No special treatment. No special treatment. If Oprah walking here today, repent! That's it. That's it. That's right. And be baptized! Be baptized. <laughs> Amen. We don't have no uh, message for rich that's opposite from poor. No. That's right. The one that's renowned among holy people is God. God. So is Oprah Winfrey really a fornicator as Pastor Gino Jennings suggests? Well, Oprah has been with Steadman Graham from 1986 to date and never got married even though he proposed to her in 1993. Revelation 2 to 21 in our Bible says this, And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Galatians 5.21 ends by saying, As I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Pastor Gino Jennings also mentions some other requirements to be a Christian that he says Oprah has not met. One, he says she has not repented and is not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So where in the Bible supports Pastor Gino Jennings' saints? Well, Acts 2.38 says this, Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Is Oprah filled with the Holy Ghost? I don't think so. John 3, 5 says this, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Oprah also teaches a false doctrine that there are diverse ways to God, that there are more than one ways to God. I there couldn't possibly be just one way. What, what about Jesus? What about Jesus? 
only one way. There is one way and only one way, and that is through Jesus. There couldn't possibly be with a million of people in the world. Because you say there isn't. There couldn't possibly be. Because you say, you intellectualize it and say there isn't. If you don't believe that, you're all buying into the lie. But that makes you right. Do you think, do you think that if you, if you are somewhere on the planet... Where are you so, if you're somewhere on the planet and you never hear the name of Jesus, you never hear the name of Jesus, but yet you live with a loving heart, you lived as Jesus would have had you to live, you lived for the same purpose that Jesus came to the planet to teach us all, but you are in some remote part of the earth and you never heard the name of Jesus, you cannot get to heaven, you think? And that is covered in the scriptures, too. People are talked about that. Truly. God knows the heart. Does God care about your heart or does God care about if you call his son Jesus? Well, you know... Oprah, God, Jesus cannot come back until that gospel is preached in the four corners of this earth. So, you know, figure it out. Okay, okay, I can't get into a religious argument with you. It's not Jesus says this in John 14, 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you have not repented and is baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus, as Pastor Gino Jennings said, and be filled with the Holy Ghost, and continue steadfast in holiness, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. If you are watching this channel for the first time or not, I recommend that you hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell so that you can be notified when we release these life-changing videos. Don't forget to let me know what you think about this topic and what was discussed in this video in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.